Hey guys, Six News Sports Director Curtis Quillen here. I just got done watching episode one of our time Baylor basketball. Just wanted to discuss some thoughts with you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing a blog series on KCENTV.com reacting to every episode during the season. Um, if you're going to choose a school to chronicle the basketball season for, make that the first time you do this show without doing football, Baylor's the one to do it, and I think they did a really nice job of diving into why. You know, the expectations on the women's side, the change on the women's side, and, you know, this is a Baylor men's team that really changed its identity after losing four starters, and they dive into that as well. Um, am I the only one who was caught off guard by the fact that uh, Melissa Smith is a painter? She's a painter? And guys, those weren't paint-by-numbers. Those weren't tracings. Like They were just genuinely good. Like, I know she's trying to be humble, and she's saying she's not very good. And Alyssa, you need to brag about that, because that was impressive. Um, and I kind of just, I would watch an episode that was just watching, like, Melissa Smith taking over the role of Bob Ross. And, like, here's how, here's how I do this. Um, I think that would be fascinating. And I think that that's such a unique outlet for the stress that some of these college athletes are under, um, especially to pick up uh, during uh, the beginning of COVID. The other thing that I really wanted to touch on is, guys, those rings are as big as advertised. Before the Baylor football game against Oklahoma, our whole department, myself, Nikki Latarula, Matt Lively, we were talking to uh, Baylor Sports Information Director David Kay, who's been with the basketball program for ages. Uh, he has one of those rings, and he got one, and they are as big as advertised. I mean, that thing, he offered to let us hold it, and I, I think I touched it for a second, um, but I was so scared to break it, guys. That I mean, it's it takes up it, it takes up a good chunk of my finger. Um, the top of it does, and it's just it's this magnificent specimen. And given where the program was when Scott Drew took the job, yeah, you have a big accomplishment like that. You've earned you've earned a big ring. Um, as far as his comment of hey. The Toronto Raptors used to have the biggest rings. Now the Baylor Bears do. Guys, that is just an awesome flex. Um, all in all, really thought it was a good episode. It was just a scene-setter episode, though. I mean, a season premiere on a series like that, is it, that's what that's going to do. And uh, I look forward to seeing what they dive into next. The players that I'm really hoping they dive into on some of these features in the weeks to come, I want to see James Akinjo, why he transferred to Baylor. I want to see Adam Flagler, why he not only transferred to Baylor, but then rode it out to get to where he's at now because he has really emerged uh, in this season on the women's side, Queen Egbo and Caitlin Bickle. Queen Egbo is more of a stretch for, uh, a little bit more of a stretch post now. Uh, her role changed when Kim Mulkey went to um, LSU. And then Caitlin Bickle, whose uh, minutes and play, just her role period have exploded uh, under Nikki Collin. I really, I really hope that we get to see those stories here uh, in the coming weeks.